it snowed last night and the rain came and washed the snow away and it has not stopped raining. But I love rainy days. Welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. And man, did I just finish watching a documentary on Hulu that is amazing. It's called Batman and Bill. First, from 1939. There was only one name in the credit line. Batman created by Bob Kane. Here he is. And here's the thing about that credit line. It is not. And I think that's something that I want to talk about today because I am a big Batman fan and I want to talk about why I like Batman and why this documentary is something I think people should watch and peep out. And also just to talk about Bill Finger just in case you are unaware of who that is. So Milton Finger, known professionally and personally as Bill Finger, was an American comic strip and comic book writer best known as the creator with Bob Kane of the DC Comics character Batman and the co-architect of the series development who mostly worked as his ghostwriter. And that's the simplistic way of talking about who Bill Finger was or who Bill Finger is or the legacy of Bill Finger. But the reality is, is that Bill Finger and the Finger family is, is the story of a family that was pushed out by a whole industry. And the whole industry knew and understood and recognized secretly amongst themselves that Bill Finger was one of the co-creators to Batman and the whole Batman universe. Yet the whole industry based upon money did nothing for them. Same thing like uh, uh, Siegel and Schuster with the Superman saga. And, and same thing with Jack Kirby and the whole Marvel Universe. Uh, Steve Dicko is another uh, creator that comes to mind with this. I mean the story goes on and on. This industry has done this to so many creators. And that's why I'm so passionate about Feral Publication. I'm so passionate about DIY Publishing. Because I am passionate about... People being able to create what they want and, and be recognized for it and not have to fight tooth and nail just for the bare minimum of having their name attached to their labor. Like that is sad. It's a, it's a very sad documentary, especially when you contrast the way that Bill Finger died versus the way Bob Kane died. The way you, you change and you look at the way the, someone like Jack Kirby uh, died and is remembered versus the way Stan Lee died and is remembered. And... And honestly, like, you should just watch the documentary. It's really good. So here we go, you guys. And here you can see it says Batman created by Bob Kane. And now this one came out, right? Batman, uh, the DC Universe Rebirth. And what does it read? Batman created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger. Boom. So they succeeded. And one of the things that I want to mention about Batman, because I get a lot of flack for liking Batman, they're like, why do you like this rich boy pretentious asshole? My understanding of Batman and the Batman mythos is a man who basically, through his discipline, uh, through his passion, and through his perseverance, you know, he bests the gods, right? That's why in the DC comic lore, Batman bests Superman and is probably the most dangerous man in the DC universe. And that's a man conquering the gods, basically. And that's the mythos. If you are the most disciplined, the most passionate, and endure the most, you can succeed. And that's what I feel Batman the Saga story is. And I understand that he has hella money, but the money kind of plays into it because he has the best that humankind has at the moment. And that is the point of like, he has the best of humanity with him, and it, he's able to conquer through that. So in a lot of ways, the Batman mythos to me is this mythos that humanity can succeed at whatever humanity decides to do. And that's why I like the Batman mythos. Well, yeah, you guys, that's all I got for you guys today, man. I'm going to go ahead. It's a rainy day. It's a perfect day to read, write, probably get some, uh, some comic book reading in. Just watch that documentary. I know I have these zines to fold up and to package to ship out to you subscribers to the Furrow Comics Project. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Furrow Comics Project. I can't wait for people to get the next issue. If that's something that you're interested in, we will have a link in the show notes so that you can go ahead and get yourself a single issue, if not a whole subscription to the Furrow Comics Project. Uh, beyond that, go ahead and like and share the video and let's keep building this shit up, man. Thank you so much for watching. Lights!